I think this album is my best album from both of the albums, you know. Uh, the first album I love. The second album I love is just a little darker. This album right here is retro meets techno meets futuristic, you know, and it, it's not just a hip hop album. People are not gonna really know what to categorize this album because it's not just a hip hop album, not just the R&B album, not just a pop mainstream album. It's an album for everybody. Well, right now it's the number one crossover record, uh, the number one R&B record. So. I, nothing but positive. I mean, of course, when you're dealing with a record that's so different, it takes people like two or three listens, and then it's like, okay, that's my favorite joint. But uh, right now, it's the number one record in the country, so it's been positive. And the video is is most definitely not what you're gonna expect when you hear the record. You think, okay, it's gonna be a typical girl and a guy in the room. It's a scene where I dislocate my head and hold my head under my arm, but my body is still dancing around. It's a very, very sexy, sexy, sexy video, but at the same time, you got little spots where it's like when Get Your Freak On, when the head come out to the camera, you like, whoa, you know, you're gonna have your little spots where different things happen. Lady Marmalade, which was a remake of uh, Patty and the LaBelle's. They called for me to do the record first by myself, and I couldn't do it because I had all of this stuff going on. And I said, instead of me doing the record, I'll produce it with a guy named Rockwiler. It was just amazing, you know, you got four talented divas on one track. I think they, they put their all into it because they knew it was going to be competition, but in a good way competition, like, I'm going to sing the best I ever sung in my whole life because I know you're on this record. You know, but it was a good competition and, and the record ended up being incredible. The video is incredible. I think you get to see the girls in a whole nother light than what you ever seen them in their videos or heard them. I think it sets all of us, including me, myself, just somewhere else. The music is what becomes so addictive. It's, it's like my music could be your substitute for a drug. But for me, it's like once you play the CD once, you're gonna have to keep playing it again and again, and that's what becomes so addictive, my music. After this album, I'm gonna probably go to Anguilla somewhere, <laughs> somewhere, but I almost definitely need a vacation. <laughs>